Right, Tim, when you're ready. Okay. Yep. This is the lathe, and it is, I believe, the most dangerous tool in this shop. It has a very, very strong, powerful motor, and it creates a lot of motion here in the head. The work is moving, plus this is moving. This chuck weighs over, I would say, 60, 70 kilos, and it's held on in six points, and these points need to be verified that those are in secure before each and every use. So you identify the locked position on each of these before use. In addition, the work must be held very um, uh, firmly, and that's, in this case, done with all six jaws coming in simultaneously in this what's called an automatic chuck. A critical thing to remember is this chuck key never stays in this tool without your hand on it. So you tighten and take it out and put it aside. This, if it is left, becomes a projectile, which is extremely dangerous. The basic operations of this tool are establishing the rotational speed, which is given here. So the blue says we're at 190 revolutions per minute right now. Red would be 140, and yellow would be 108. Or I can go to a higher range, or yet a higher range still. Going at very high rotational velocities is, it can be very hazardous. This is going to go extremely fast. If your work is not secured well, you'll have something coming off with a high velocity. So we do not recommend going to high, high velocities unless you have uh, verified that your work is appropriate for that. So you need to know about those velocity settings. And again, it's all about feed, speed of rotation, and cutting. So these are all linked together. Here we have the chart for doing threading. So this machine will cut either metric or standard size threads. The threading operation is quite involved. And so you actually have to go through a number of steps which are far too detailed to cover here. And that's an advanced application of the lathe. For general lathe operations, we have the axis going in and out of the, the tool and left and right. A digital display tells you a reference, the, the change in position of each of these axes, and you have to zero them according to what you consider to be zero. In addition, the tool can be moved along its own axis, which can be established by loosening these screws and setting the tool whatever angle you'd like. So you can make angled cuts using this. This is called the tailstock. The tailstock can hold a drill bit, or it can hold other things to help secure your work, such as bearings and other means to uh, hold work in place. It's moved very simply by unlocking it. Oh, very simply to say, um, should be. Oh, there we are. And then locking it in position. Okay. Once it's in position, you can move the tool accordingly here. This is also a tapered fitting. If you back this off entirely, the tool is automatically ejected. And this is called a uh, Jacob's taper. Okay. Oh, not Jacob's. Anyway. Um, the tool must be lubricated uh, frequently. And so those using it must remember to lubricate the ways of this tool on each use. Safety is critical on this tool. It, number one, should not be used by anyone without full training. This is true of all these power tools, but this one is the most hazardous. Number two, this, if, you're, if you haven't used it extensively, you should get a second person to confirm all your settings before making a cut, because you can easily have a mistaken setting. And also can confirm that all the stops are in place so that the tool cannot continue out of control. This, is a, this whole system can be motor driven, so it drives along the work and has to be stopped appropriately. The emergency stop for this tool is right here. So at any given time, you stop the whole tool this way, and your foot should always be prepared to take that move. This hazards include entanglement, so long hair, loose clothing, uh, anything when you have a movement and loose uh, things, you can get entangled. And the brake will not be fast enough to help you in that case, all ch the chances are. So this has to be 100% avoided. Of course, eye protection is essential. In some cases, particularly doing tubular stock, it can make a loud ringing noise. And so ear protection can be required. 
but in all cases, eye protection is required. Gloves are a good idea when handling a material for this tool because after making a cut, very sharp edges could be exposed that could cut your hands. So it is highly advisable to use gloves.